So good morning, everybody. Good morning. You welcome to today's New York session forecast and analysis brought to you by Trading Proof Nigeria Limited. So as always, we're going to start off with the economic calendar. So looking at the economic calendar for today being the 25th of June, um, Asia and London session didn't have that much news. So most of the news is coming in during the New York session. We'll have high volume of Canadian news, USD and USD we have by 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. The high impact is by 3 p.m. So most of the action is going to be during the New York session. So as always, we're going to start off with Euro GBP, US 100, dollar index, Euro USD, GBP USD, gold, pound yen, and Euro yen. So let's start off with the Euro pound. The Euro pound gives you a directional bias as to the strength of either the Euro or the British pound against each other. So what does that help you do? That helps you decide if you're going to be a pound seller or a pound buyer going into the new session. So that's why you need to always be aware of what they most likely will be offering. So looking at the looking at the British Euro GBP Let's start off on the daily. Yesterday closed with a long upper week after a deep projection into almost the fair value gap of the daily, consequent encroachment of this daily fair value gap, as you can see here. So what does that mean? That means that this might still move, extend lower. This might still extend lower. So if we go down to the four hour time frame, we can already see we have a bearish engulfing below this swing low. So we have a break in market structure on the four hour. So what that means is that we're going to see a little bit of a retracement. If we go down to the one hour time frame, we're going to see a little bit of a retracement into this structure point here. And if we get the rejection, then we might see price come here. So going into the New Year session, we're going to have a weak Euro USD, which will signal pound strength. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is the US 100. Looking at the US 100, we start off from the daily. And see that price closed as a bearish engulfing on the daily. Note what is that this equal lows here has been swept, but we have a retracement which didn't sweep previous days low. So what that means is that we're going to see a little bit of a retracement and the previous days low might still serve as the drawn liquidity. So where do we expect this to move up to? We'll be watching 19.817 to 19.677.3. So this is where we'll be expecting price to come into bearish evidence here then we'll be moving to the downside. The next pair we're going to be looking at is DXY. So looking at the dollar index, like I noted that yesterday on the dollar index, we can see that price dropped into this So if we look, the next thing we're going to look is the dollar index. We can see that price is dipping into this area already. Price is dipping into this area already. And we have a rejection. This was the last set of down candles before this up move. So we have a dip into it and we can see that there's been a rejection. So if you look at this, there are several factors in play here. 
if we look at the weekly, if we look at the weekly, let me remove all this so I can better explain. If we look at the weekly between previous week's high, noteworthy is that we have a close above previous week's high. So that's bullish evidence one. Yesterday, price dropped into the range, equilibrium of this previous week's range. If we drop down to the daily, we have this daily fair value gap here between 105.53 to 105.33. As we can see, we already have that range here. So we can see that price dropped to the 75% and it has bounced. Noteworthy also is that the previous day's low has been swept. So most likely, what is that going to mean that we might be seeing price rallying back at least towards 105.83 for today. So if we go down to the four hour time frame, we can see that price is already setting up. So most likely we'll be seeing price run into this fair value gap here. So for now, going into New York, we're looking at a bullish dollar index. The next we're going to be looking at is the Euro USD. So looking at the Euro USD, going into the New York session, we're going to have a weak Euro USD. Due to dollar strength, this is going to be bearish. So any rally on this pair is going to be an opportunity for a short. And where would we be most likely targeting? We'll be targeting 105, 107.05 to 106.98 first before this equal lows here on the daily. So the next one we're going to be looking at is the GBP USD. Looking at the GBP USD, this is bearish. You can see that price has re rallied above the previous this high into this fair value gap on the daily here. That fair value gap on the daily is between 2700 to 1.2674. So we can see a rejection there. So if we drop down to the four hour time frame, you can see that we have what seems to be setting up as a bearish engulfing. If we go into the one hour time frame. So for this pair, for this pair to be completely bearish, you need to have a close below 1.2683. But if you get a bearish engulfing on this one hour, what you wait for? Because this low needs to give way to declare this pair fully bearish. So you need to see a close retracement and the move lower on this pair. So going into New Year's session, we're looking at bearish pound and bottom, bearish GBP USD, but it's not as weak as the Euro USD. So you need to take cognizance of that. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is gold. Gold, as you can see, gold might still rally. Gold might still rally. Like I said yesterday, I said we might see a retracement. The retracement was a little bit deep. And I pointed out yesterday, this area here. So we can see the impulse move taking place on the one hour. So if price breaks above this high, what you'll be waiting for in New York session is something like this and the continuation to the upside on this pair. So that's what we'll be waiting for on gold. Gold going into New York session, we might see a bit of a bullish move towards at least 23.45. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is pound yen. Pound yen, we're still bullish on this pair. We don't have a change in the state of delivery. So any down move on this pair is going to be an opportunity for an up move. So this pair most likely will be going for 202.81. That's what this pair will be going for. The next pair we're going to be looking at is the euro Yen, this pair is also bearish. So this pair's target will be 17160. So as long as this flow here at 17028 holds, this pair, any down move will serve as an opportunity for a bullish move to the upside. So that does it for today.
thank you all for taking your time to attend. I wish you all a beautiful trading New York session and a lovely day ahead. Goodbye, everybody.